the sweetness lingers longer with Salati and Espresso. Now for those of you with a bit of a sweet tooth, turn up your volume right now because we are making probably one of my ultimate favorite desserts, creme brulee. Only problem is I have no idea how to do that. That is why we have the beautiful Caitlin with us this morning. Caitlin. Good morning. I'm so excited that you're here because creme brulee and I are big friends, but I have no idea where to even begin. It's a lot of people's favorite desserts and it's really, really not that complicated to make. <laughs> it's very easy. Well, that's what you say. So I'm hoping you're going to take me through step by step and yes. you know, make me a master creme brulee maker after this. <laughs> okay, right. great. So what we're first going to do is we're going to heat some milk and okay. some cream in a saucepan. You can obviously use a uh, fat-free milk to lower it down a bit. I'm going to be doing this super fast. That's it. Okay, so, that was a hot little... Uh, yes. Um, and then if you want to use coconut milk instead of cream, that's also great. Really? Yeah, you can have coconut and cardamom or... That'll you know, add a complete play. unique flavor to it, of exactly. course. Exactly. But All we're right. going to use, we're going to infuse this with some vanilla. These vanilla pods are um, available from Pick and Pay. Right. And then we're just going to scrape out some of the seeds. You can put the the vanilla pod hole into it as well. Okay. But the seeds are where all the flavor is. Yes. You need very little. Really? I was just about to ask, I mean, how much do you need? Because that's, that really was a little. Yeah, it, and it, it little bit goes a long way. Okay. And obviously, if you don't like vanilla, you can put in some orange peel. You yeah. can add some cocoa beans. That will infuse really nicely. So, and then once you're done with the vanilla part, you pop it into some of uh, some white salati sugar. Yeah. And that will infuse beautifully. You can add it to your coffee. It's yeah. a little bit of a luxurious. I must ask you something, because I see you've got plantation select. What, what, what yes. is plantation select sugar? So, that is, it's got a little bit of a caramelized flavor to it compared yeah. to the white sugar so it's, it's less it's less refined um, and it adds a really nice uh, beautiful flavor to creme brulee you can use it in light fruit cakes and for light toffees um, and it really just ups the flavor a little bit okay nice so you would recommend this type of sugar for your creme brulees yes because it, right. it, it really will like I said, increase the yeah. caramelization flavor. Love it. And then we've got, so we've got three egg yolks in here with some of the Plantation Select Salati Sugar. Mm -hmm. And that we're just going to mix together. All right. And then we're going to strain. We, we don't have to strain because we took the, we can use the <laughs> vanilla part. But we're going to add this gently. All right. Because you don't want to cook the egg. That's it, yes. Can I? So, yeah, you're right there. Yeah. You're actually handling yourself very well in the kitchen. Not such a <laughs> heavy part. That's it. And so you're just going to whisk that in. And like I said, you can play around with flavors. So add some coffee, a little pinch of white pepper is really nice. And then mm -hmm. you serve the brulee with um, strawberries. Oh, wow. It's quite a different sort of flavor. Yes. So then once we've got that going in there, we're going to pour that mm -hmm. into our brulee mold. There's nothing else. That was it. No, that was it. So it's a set custard. So there's very few ingredients. Yeah. Should actually have a jug for this, but you're worry. doing well. Keep keep going, keep going, persevering. You know. So just in there, not all the way to the top. Okay. And then, have you ever heard of a bain marie? The, the what? Bain marie no, in a what? recipe? No. Or a water bath? So we're going to cook that in a water bath. Okay. That's going to make sure that the heat is really even. Yeah. And so you've, you have it there on a on a on a on a tea towel, just tea so towel. it doesn't slip and float around. All right. And then we're going to fill this with hot water. Okay. And that's going to make sure that the custard doesn't overcook or curdle. Yeah. And then that's going to go into an oven at 100 degrees. At 100 degrees, all right. Which you've got it on there. I've got it. Well, you can... There we go. Be very careful, careful with this. And so that's, you're going to cook that until it's a little bit wobbly in the middle, but not completely set. So how long are we looking at here? We're looking yeah. at about, depending on the size of your mould, yeah. about 20 minutes. Just give it a little shake. Yeah. It shakes in the middle, then it's perfect. Lovely. Okay. So we've got ready made over here. Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like once it's when? baked. Once it's you're going to take it out of the oven, let it cool slightly and put it in the fridge. Because right. you want a creme brulee to be cold. Yes. Now we're going to brulee it. Bru so we've the, got uh, the brulee part. Brulee, oh, okay. so that's like burning yes. or grilling. So just a little bit of sugar on it. All right. And now, if you will get the heavy machinery of you know, here, that's it. You do, if you don't have a blowtorch at home, you can just pop it under the grill. All right. Really so hot now grill. So it's on full, just a couple of minutes there, maybe. Yeah. Not even. That would be fine. Yeah. Shake it I've around. I've never done this before. Is there a trick to it? Uh, no. You're just going to lightly caramelize it. You don't want to go crazy. Okay. All so right. I don't know why. I'm a little bit nervous. And obviously the, the Salati Caster Snow is perfect for this because it will um, dissolve really quickly and caramelize quickly. Okay, so let's see. Go for it. Is it fine? See how it's starting to caramelize? It's a problem, yes. Yeah. And you just want to create a really, really thin, crispy 
um, topping. So <laughs> it, it, what if it's making bubbles like that? It's perfect. Just carry on. Because that's creating, it's creating a nice, there we go, a nice caramelized flavor. Really? Mm. Look at that. Just Beautiful. Sort of then it's done. Stunning. So now the idea of creme brulee is that you're able to crack the surface with yes. a spoon. So just you'll just let it set a little bit. Okay, even if it's bubbly like that. Yes, so it's going to it's going to set quite hard. Yes. And you just need to make sure that you don't brulee too much the custard underneath gets hot. I understand. Because you want the bottom to be cold and then the, the yeah. caramel to be So you need crisp. to do it very quickly. Yes. Alright. So by now this should be so we're gonna crack it with a spoon. That's very easy. Yeah. That's very easy. Alright. So, so that's how you make a creme brulee. Very easy. What's the key word if people want the recipe? Um it's salati. Salati. Yes. Alright, so, so it's S A L A T I. Oh, yes. That's it. Salati to 33728. And I was surprised at how easy this was. Yes. So, you know, this is a pre prepare this. If you're going to have friends over this weekend coming, you know, have a bri, that kind of thing. And it lovely, will, lovely it will dessert. Keep, you keep it in the fridge and you can just pop it out and brulee it. So, and then you've got instant dessert. Instant dessert. Listen how hot that is. Very nice. So, Salati to 33728. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Mm. That is amazing. That's amazing. Thank you very much. I'm going to go eat this now. <laughs> See you later. Cheers, Kate. The sweetness lingers longer with Salati and Espresso. Espresso and SABC3.